In today's video, I'm gonna tell you which surfactant I use and do I even use surfactant? Do I even need it? Stay tuned. All right, guys, you wanna know which surfactant that I am using? Uh, I'll give you a little hint. Now, I have used the stuff from Power Wash Store. Uh, I think it was called Power Wash, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. The latest one that I had gotten was Eliminator from Pressure Tech. Uh, <clears throat> downstreaming and batch mixing, it's one ounce to the gallon. But one, me personally, I didn't like the way Eliminator smelled. I know a lot of guys still use it. Uh, I think Joe Deary, he uses it uh, the, on here on YouTube and a lot of people like it, but uh, to me it always had a nasty it had a nasty smell to it. I mean, that's all I can say. It just had a nasty smell. So, uh, what I use is this right here. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of people want to hate and go, God, why? You know, I'm a professional and I use professional soaps. And to me, that's just garbage. Uh, I've actually washed the last few houses that I've washed without any soap and it was fine uh, some people like soaps some don't you know I was under the impression when I first started that I had to have soap in it and I don't but <clears throat> what I like is when you're on the gun and you're downstream and you can normally know from when you're pulling the trigger and you're just shooting water and then when you're shooting soap you can shoot the foundation and it's the bleach will sud up a little bit but when you add the soap to it it really suds up uh, and then you can just spray yeah they have the new soaps with the dye markers i think those are cool if you're going to be running them through a, a, a pump i'm not doing that yet and not sure if i ever will because i really like downstreaming but Eliminator, we'll just go on the Eliminator because that's the one that I, I had ordered. I used two or three gallons of it and uh, just didn't didn't see the cost effectiveness of it. You know, it's $25, $30 and then you're gonna pay probably another 10 or 15 to ship it. So let's just say $40 for the gallon. Well, I'm batch mixing it. <clears throat> There's what, 120, 28 ounces or 112 ounces, whatever it is in a gallon. Uh, so you mix it at one ounce to the gallon. Okay, that's gonna do a lot and that's gonna be fine. But this here is 150 ounces. So that means what I, I figured out, I think this cap is about five ounces. So with my little fibers that I use, these little fibers I have right here, when I batch mix it up, when I get to wherever I'm going, I pour a cap in. If I feel like I may need some more, I pour some more in because this is gonna do me more using that one ounce a gallon than what Eliminator would do at $40 a gallon, okay? This is 150 ounces, so it's more than a gallon. You can get these all day long for six dollars seven dollars eight whatever let's just say on a high end you find it and it's it, it, it's eight you know uh still eight dollars compared to 40 you get more out of it because there because there's more ounces in it and do you think if you go to your your customer and you go you know i was going to charge you fifty dollars more but i but I use this Purex and it's not a professional soap, so I can't do that. That's stupid. That's stupid in my mind. Other people may not believe it is, but that's stupid in my mind. Customers really don't care what you use or how you do it as long as it looks like it's supposed to when you're done. Uh, I found they have, I think, a purple bottle. They have all different kinds of scents, but the green, I think there's two different smells in the green but this green bottle for whatever reason smells amazing so when you're spraying this it does mask the smell of the bleach it helps out tremendously with that so 
I just wanted to get on here, talk about which surfactant it is that I use because there's so many misconceptions out there of what you can and can't use or what you should and shouldn't use. You know, uh, if I'm gonna go 55 gallons and I'm gonna batch mix this whole tank up here, you know, I'm gonna do that 10 or 15 times. If I put a little extra in it, big deal. It only cost me seven or eight dollars. Now, if I'm gonna go do a roof, yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more than one ounce to the gallon. I don't trust, uh, I don't trust one ounce to the gallon when it comes to a roof wash. So if I'm gonna do 55, I may pour that whole thing in there. Okay, what's it gonna hurt? It's seven or eight dollars. It doesn't streak windows. It smells good. It suds up. I can see everywhere that I'm spraying and I know when I am and off the the uh, trigger and when I'm pulling soap and when I'm not. So uh, not knocking anybody. I know there's a lot of these companies uh, on these YouTube channels on here now that are wanting to sell you their soaps and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those, but you know, for me, I still just go down to Dollar General, wherever I gotta go and get Purex. It smells great, it, it soaps good, it works good. And uh, you can pretty much catch it on sale, even if, if it's not on sale. It's still just seven or eight dollars, six dollars, whatever. So uh, got 150 ounces here, and it, like I said, you can use the purple. I just found that the green, for whatever reason, seems this green jug seems to work better. But uh, for anybody out there that want to know what soaps to use, what can I use, what can I put in my batch mix, whatever, this is what I use. So. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of people that use professional soaps and that's it. If they want to do that, that's fine. There's a lot of guys here on YouTube that want to sell you their soaps and say they're the best. You know, I don't know. I'm sure they, they may be thicker and they may have their advantages, but a customer is not going to have any issue with you using this compared to you saying, oh, well, this jug is a professional grade soap. They don't care as long as their house is clean. So just remember that. Don't overthink stuff that doesn't matter when you're out working. So uh, anyway, that's my time for the day. I just wanted to let you know what I use. We'll see you.